Hey, everybody. Uh, we're back. It's Hello. episode five, season 14. Uh, no, I did not change my office. I'm just not at home, but the show <laughs> must go on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, show must go on. Here we go. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> well, and now the theater kids are going to take over the show because mm -hmm. I cannot say. <laughs> Uh, but yes, we're oh, going to do our uh, yes, let's see. Oh, I was just going to say neither can I, but that doesn't stop me. Good. It really yeah. does. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it should never wow. be. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Mm -hmm. You have a good voice. I do not. That's because I never have a backing track. And that's that's the key. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have, you don't know wow. if I'm off key. I'm in key with me, and that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Songs in the key of me. Exactly. Wow. Oh and we're all so the chaotic energy has kept coming. It came with me and Eugenio from Motherlands, <laughs> and now it's here today. Mm. Uh, but before we get too far off the rails, let's introduce ourselves and then do our usual thing. Uh, I'm going to be different this week and not start to the right or left of me. I'm going to go right below with Brian. Wow. Hi, I'm Brian, and today I will be center square here on Rivals of Waterdeep. <laughs> sort of not really. I need another row below me. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm Brian, uh, a.k.a. Eric Bohemian. I play Virgil, your SMR sorcerer. Virgil's pronouns are he, him, mine are he, they. And I'm going to throw it over to... Pick Masood. one. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Masood. Uh, I play Gazric Nomrad, everyone's favorite socialist businessman, Construct Druid. Um, and we, are, both our pronouns are he, him, and I uh, am going to throw it to, on the other side, Eugenio. Hi, I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzians. I don't know why it is delighting me so much that we're playing hot potato intros, yeah. uh, but it is. Uh, I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzians. Uh, I'm playing Kent, our uh, tiefling phantom rogue. Uh, both of our pronouns are he, him, and I will toss it to... No, wait, this is hard. Latia. <laughs> You gotta toss it across the thing. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I went the wrong way. It's okay. Uh, hi, I'm Latia Jaquise. Uh, I play everybody's favorite unconfirmed murder bird monk, uh, D uh, Dahani. Uh, Eric Okra, that word went missing in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, my pronouns are she, her, and so are Dahani's, and I'm going to pass it to that guy over there. Uh, Man, we, you know, the last one in the hot potato, it really sucks. Like, there's no drama, you know. You just, yeah, you that's why I got I yeah. took me so long. So I was like, oh no, whoever I don't pick is oh. gets the but you can start so, next week, right? Or something like, like, like you toss the hot potato, I just let it fall in front of me and then pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Sharif. Uh, he him, uh, playing Shaka, he's playing Celestial Warlock, also he him. Uh, and I just stick with no, I, I toss it back to back to uh. Hi. Sharif, are you done? Yes. Okay. Uh, and hi, I'm your DM, Tanya. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. I usually play Lisa Stario and her girlfriend, Faye. Also pronouns she, her, and their direwolf puppy, Fenris. And then I'll be all your NPCs. Pronouns TBD for these NPCs. And uh, we are now going to bring you some commercial messages while we double check the code. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who has ad reads this week? I do. It's an odd number, so that's on me. And before we get into our ad reads, I do want to throw a, a, a mention to our Indiegogo. If you haven't yet made a contribution, if you've been thinking about it, there's still time to help donate and make sure that Rivals continues on for the next couple of seasons. We'd love your support and really encourage you to go check that out. There's a chat bot going in there. And I'll talk a little bit more about that maybe towards the end, but just a reminder that it's there. It's running for, I think we've got like a little over two weeks left. Um, and so if you can, we'd love your support. And We'd really appreciate it. And I'm making Rivals continue with such a great show that you all clearly love since you're coming here to check it out. Um, like, we love it too. That being said, let me go thank our sponsors that still also support us and make our show as awesome as we can. We'd like to thank 
D&D Beyond for our digital character sheets and access to book content. You can check them out at dndbeyond.com. There's a legendary bundle giveaway in chat, and they have to be here live in order to check it out. So be sure to check what's going on and to keep track of when we call it. Our dice trays and vaults are provided by Wormwood. Use code RIVALS for free domestic shipping at wormwoodgaming.com. We're also proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Check them out at dieharddice.com and use the code RIVALS for 10% off. They've got a bunch of great options. This is my personal set as you've probably seen me display many a time here on rivals or if you're listening to the podcast heard me fumble with on the audio so you know that i like them you know that i have them ready be sure to check it out uh, if you're looking for some geeky gear you got to check out stormcrow shop.stormcrow.com slash rivals for 15 percent off we love everything mm-hmm. stormcrow has to offer and if you're lucky enough to find the hidden items on stormcrow's website that now i have been confirmed they still do not approve of uh, uh, you can <laughs> be sure to uh, go uh, check out their website, see if you can find my mug, and I'll ship it out to you. We'll have a good time with it. Uh, we're also uh, want to thank um, the folks that make us sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew. We use blue microphones. You go to crew.bluemic.com slash rivals, and you can purchase anything there and get a little kickback for us, which is nice. And the sound quality, the production, heck, if you even need a web can i'm sure you can find something there um we are also partnered with idle champions by <gasps> codename entertainment you can type exclamation code for this week's free electum chess for the folks who didn't know kent is in the game chaka is in the game Celise is in the game dahani's in the game gazik's in the game and as of this past wednesday the last current member of rivals has entered the one the only virgil is a part of idol champions you can get them along with disco pest and fen as familiars and with their stacking multipliers be sure to unlock them all for an incredibly powerful team i may or may not be currently doing that as uh well i started it earlier and then i shut it down the great thing about idol champions is it does a lot of stuff idling um so be sure to get started on that to unlock uh virgil and everything one else in the game we also like to give a shout out to Voice Mod, our latest sponsor. Um, if you're wanting to enhance your sound quality, give a little extra zhuzh to your story p- uh, telling uh, capabilities, you can do that. Uh, you, honey, you use Voice Mod a little bit. What's it like for you? I mean, I rather enjoy it. It mm-hmm. changes the way that I sound. I can use it to do lots of voices without really making much effort at all, aside mm-hmm. from the push of a button. You can go to voicemod.net. And if you decide you want to get a pro license to sound like this, I guess, you can use code RIVALS for 5% off and we get a little of that too. Perfect. Uh, what's, uh, just for a second, uh, for me, what happens if you divide by zero? Just just curious, what, what does that computation look like? Oh. 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 It's infinity. It's infinity! We love it. For the record, improv skills not provided by voice mod, but voice talent definitely provided by voice mod. Be sure to pick up voice <laughs> mod and get your access to some <laughs> incredible voices and additions to make your storytelling. What was the joke we were going for? I really, I was trying I really to make actually, you I was kind of curious like, and that was the, yeah. and you, and you were so ready oh, for it. Well. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, isn't that the thing when you ask an AI to divide by zero in, in the last ditch moment when it becomes oh. sentient? Okay, here's a little here's a little confession. I yeah. panicked because I hadn't picked a voice for this week, so I clicked one I've never used before, so I didn't know what it sounded like. <laughs> no, 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 it's totally good. Oh. All right, it felt it felt very much like uh like a oh, AI of a ship. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Maybe. weird. Because I'll tell you what it's called. That yeah. one is called Persona Woman Senior. What? <laughs> All right, so I mean, you know, there's no accounting for the naming conventions on voice mod, but the voices are great. Yeah, is that you like got a, a lot to dig in there. Like, is is that a game in the Persona series? <laughs> yeah. uh, the new wow. one that's coming out next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got huh. we got a free preview. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's all the ad read, so I'm gonna throw it uh, back to Tanya. I don't know why you send it back to me. I can't top that. No. <laughs> um, I Ooh. believe now. It is time for our recap and our whoosh. Mm. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Um, I got I got nothing this week. Let's just jump right into it or whoosh oh, right into it. I oh guess. Oh my goodness, I didn't even. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. I mean, obviously, oh. prepare for it. Oh. But I, have I thought you were just gonna go oh, right into no, it. I was like, like, oh I'm my god. Ready. That's why I have to stall. <laughs> I was no, like, I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> we're definitely still whooshing. Prepare yourself for it. But I just have. Well, now I, I guess I do have 
something to lead into it, I guess. <laughs> Let's do this. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> and then they go. There they go. Uh, yeah, what happened last week? Would you like me to start or would you all like to start? Well, we were all back together finally. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Together we had again for the first we, time. Anyway. We did breakfast and then we had lunch. Amazing. We did meals. have meals. Yeah. yeah. Really, good, really good, really <laughs> good meals. <laughs> you were so hungry meals. after the episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's some top tier meals. Uh-huh. Uh we had a lovely breakfast delivered to us that we were all convinced was our last meal because it was mm-hmm. so good. <laughs> uh, you know, it, then, it, 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 it wasn't even that it was good. It was like absolutely what we like. It was yeah. like our personal yeah. favorite. It was a bit, yeah, that was suspicious. But at the same <laughs> point, we were also super hungry. So hunger went out. Yeah, nobody even bothered to check if there was nope. anything sketch about the food. <laughs> Did not. At all. Nope. nope. Just uh, dug it. Dug Why don't you bring in. us all this way and then poison us? <laughs> I mean, a reasonable thought. Yeah. Uh, then we went upstairs and uh, kind of got, we, we found out we're headed for a place called the Rock of Brawl mm-hmm. uh, that we were, I think, a day at most out from this place, which is good because if we have to stay on this ship much longer with this captain and crew, uh, there will be sadness. Right. Uh, there will be brawl. <laughs> yeah, there will be brawl. <laughs> Um, plus two, plus two, plus two. Yeah. Uh, I drink what else? Drink. No, Sorry. I'm so upset. Wow. I'm so I, I upset. Don't, don't ever, yeah. I mean, don't ever. <laughs> um, yeah, we asked a bunch of questions, got a f- few answers that we can that we kind of trust. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I then know. we spotted the rock of brawl. Did I miss something at this point? And then we got put on a skiff toward the rock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. That's mostly that's everything that happened. Yeah. Much. Well, we uh we we know that the captain, whose name is the Vidral, Vidral, yes, Vidral, Vidral, yes, um, uh, has been uh hired by somebody who she don't want to piss off. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have some suspicions about that. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Nothing that we have uh, voiced externally, mm-hmm. um, but we, but you know where we did voice it in our talkback, which you should go and uh, oh, yeah. be a Patreon member to get. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it was the one, the one clue that she gave us that was kind of dead on was a little bit like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that was pretty, pretty much it. That was kind of most. Good. Most of it was like flashbacks because Eugenio and I were not there for a week and two mm. weeks respectively. So <laughs> yeah. Uh it was just catching us up on on everything that happened. And also catching us up on what y'all got up to in the meantime. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Donnie, and then the door just opened. <laughs> yeah. And I was <laughs> like, well, I'm just I, real good at this. <laughs> I think we we have entered some sort of alternate universe where doors are not enemies because they no. just seem to open. They're setting us if, up. They're if you say that, up. then I'm gonna exactly. it's gonna be the one day I unprepare Moonbeam, and that will be the day a doppelganger gets us. Okay, <laughs> just so you know. We can't, I thought it was it, gonna be the the one day that you push a pull door and just don't. <laughs> it's immediately doppelganger door. Doppelganger door. No. Doppelganger yeah. door. You can't you know, trust these doors. We're not nearly afraid enough of mimics. So yeah. right. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. That is the thing. You know, I'm making notes, right? <laughs> no, well, we do, which is like instant regret as soon as it came out of my mouth. As soon as we started talking in <laughs> double doors, it was like, please, nobody mention no, then, 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 Listen, then it would be the right way for at least one of us to go after the yeah. last couple seasons. That is fair. And nobody pointedly, pointedly look at the dude who was partially door for a while. OK, let's not. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just staring at you now. I'm a seat. <laughs> No one, it looks weird here because no one can see what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Well, if that is all that you want to recap and remember, uh, let's that? get going. Let's do I it. mean, it's not all I want to remember. I would love to remember much more than that. <laughs> I would yeah, love I to remember some new information. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. <laughs> I, I mean, think is there anything we ended, else? We ended our meal uh, and uh, uh, like we confirmed we confirmed that since Kent overheard and saw us approaching a thing, Rocket Brawl, mm-hmm. and the captain's like, yeah, we're almost there. We're did they say that? No, I, I can't remember if it was said on the episode or in the after show. So I'll just wait for that bit of repeated whatever. I but I think mm-hmm. 
uh, the captain was essentially going to put us on a craft and send us the rest of the way on our own. I think that's where we ended. It was that's like pretty much where we yeah. ended. Into yeah. the boat. We hadn't let, like, we didn't pick up on us being out in the astral plane, but I, I think that's where we had supposedly yeah. dropped. It was like us getting into the skiff. Yeah. Yes. So uh, you've been put into the skiff rather unceremoniously, <laughs> and the door is now closed behind you. And you're kind of on your own for a few hours. Mm -hmm. If any of you want to check out the skiff, I mean, for just five people, it is pretty roomy. It's it's not the biggest vessel, at least that Virgil would have been on, but it is a decent sized vessel. You're not going to be crammed together for however long your voyage to the surface takes. Um, definitely checking it out. Yeah, um, whatever it looks like, uh, whatever it looks like might be. How how it's navigating or how to navigate it? Yeah, I was going to ask: it. Is there a I, navigator on here? Is there like a like a, a person? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 just on yeah. autopilot, I guess. To whatever. Well, there there's a console. Okay. What's it look like? Um, it looks weirdly like Xbox, uh, PS5, <laughs> no. the dreaded N64. I don't I'm, have I'm, enough I'm sorry, y'all. I'm steering the ship. Sorry. This is <laughs> oh, so now, now it's Ghostbusters wow. 2. Now or, we're, oh. or Men in Black 2. Uh, <laughs> the overlay on the on the console actually looks very Minority Report. Oh, you remember that? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I I just, oh, yeah. Let's, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, well, in that case, oh, in that case, we should try and figure out where we are and maybe yeah. like... That was, we... Yeah, Virgil's thought, Virgil's thought is basically like, does any of this make sense as opposed to you are here, you are going here. Right. And then, you know, maybe zoom out and enhance. Maybe we came <laughs> from here, so we... Maybe? So we know where, Just... we're, where we can go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyone... So, Kent, Kent, oh my god, Virgil, do you want to make Not some kind time. of navigation? Damn it. Um, you want me to have a navigation role, see if you can figure this out, or do you all just want to kind of see what happens? Um, I mean, what would that, what would a, what would that be? Or just like probably intelligence Ooh. or investigation? Uh, investigation. Okay. Uh, can I roll with advantage because of past ship experience? Because sure. uh, Virgil is not an intelligent person. I was going to say, I can give you a hand. Wow. Not, but there you go. Your experience will do I it. I mean, there literally. Literally. Not. Oh, sure. Use advantage because oh. of your piratey backstory. Uh, See, it's a nine. It's not, oh. yeah, it's, it's, it's not even wow. good. Yeah, a nine with advantage. Okay. Yeah. Oh advantage. no. Thanks. Listen, with advantage. I, I listen. I go over and I'm like, y'all, Virgil, this is different. V Virgil's captaining was much harder because none of it was automated like this. So this is all new and different. And let's just be patient, okay? Can I make yeah. an investigation check? Sure. I have a plus nine to the skill. Okay. He's gonna roll. Okay, I got an I got an eleven. So just what slightly, just, just slightly wow. better. I was gonna but, say like yeah. I, the the Wait, druid so you got a two. I got a two plus nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The druid... I honored the nat one. Trust me, I honored that. Nat one. <laughs> but we're rolling low. We're gonna stick with the low rolls. The druid now. who has been so disoriented, knowing how to fly this thing, just would have suddenly been like such he would have been incredible. The thing <laughs> that would have been amazing. Um. Okay. So, uh, you know, looking at it, essentially, it looks. I'm guessing we're seeing a screen, probably unlike anything we've seen before. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to visualize it myself so I can describe it to you all. So Minority Report, also Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. You know, when you step okay. up on and you look down at the galaxy map, mm -hmm. oh, imagine sure. that look for Mass Effect. Oh, oh, like a, okay. Yeah, it kind of like, you know, as you step up to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Good. so it is, so it is a visual thing that we can perceive. Yeah. You can perceive it. And, you know, as you step up on this little kind of, there's a tiny little area right in front of it and the sensors in it kind of flare to life because it realizes that there's someone at navigation. And you see a line form from what looks to be a little dot um, that could be your ship. And there's a line kind of arcing, you know, like when you're on a plane and you watch your progress yeah. from where you left. Yeah. So that same kind of thing of like, minutes to your destination mm -hmm. and 
this right you here. see that so this feels map this feels map like um yes. at the very least we can see what appears to represent us is there anything else represented on this on this visual thing like that that doesn't basically have a have a not have a dot connected to it um so on the left side there's icons there's different things that look kind of like the health of the ship for lack of a better way to phrase it <laughs> and at the bottom um i'm trying to think because i don't know who else has played at star citizen because that's what i'm visualizing no. but you know when you have got like your communication kind of messages um so there's icons that virtually you probably would recognize because they are still nautical in nature even though the ship's in space i have a question about this yes. map that we're seeing how uh how zoomed is it like are we seeing the path just like from the spell jammer to the rock of brawl or is it a wider view than that um it's wider the overall view is pretty wide but for whoever's standing right in front of it mm -hmm. it's focused on like basically you're in your ship and it will be x whatever unit measurement because i don't want to say i guess minutes yeah. minutes or hours Natural minute sure an astral oh no not the gregorian like a new minute minute astral <laughs> Wait, minute, minute. No. Sp minute. Oh. No. No. Oh my <laughs> astral, <laughs> astral nautical miles. Oh, there sort. you go. Astral miles. Yeah, there Astro you go. Astronautical. <laughs> oh. There it is. Ah, we've gotten there. Yeah. <laughs> it took us too long. That was not actually that clever. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so as you all are pondering this, you do hear a voice. You have 10 hours until your destination. Oh my Probably. God, I'm taking a nap. Okay. <laughs> Sh Shaka looks around everyone as he sees uh, Kent uh, look around for a nap place. Um, and Did says, you say that um, out loud, Kent? Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Kent, Kent screams that probably. Um, <laughs> and and like says, I think we should just see where this goes. I mean, even like, let's say we were able to get control of this. Like, we wouldn't even know where to where to go. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I imagine that we don't see anything else. Are, are there wind? Are, are, do, do, do we have a view out into the outside? Are there inside? windows, portholes? Yeah. There are portholes, but they are closed. Do any of you want to try to get the computer to open them? No. Well, it is not. Wait. Not no. open well, out into the. Oh, 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 you mean, oh, they're shuttered. So. Yes. Okay. okay. No, but, no, don't, but don't get sucked out of space. We might realize we heard that, but do our characters on, will word it yeah, correctly? I, I, shock, yeah, shock. Sorry, hold on, Brian's trying to say something. We heard, a, we heard a voice talk to us, right? Correct. That was the computer on the ship. Yeah. Yeah, Virgil just says out loud, who said that? <laughs> that's right, we're playing D&D, &D, not a sci-fi game. I forgot that that's weird. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, your navigation. So you're in charge of taking us where we're going. As far as the ship AI can, yes. AI. What? AI. What does that mean? And Astral you... intelligence, duh. <laughs> oh, good call, Dahani. That is fair. Okay, that makes no. That okay, that okay. yeah. That no, I'm with that. that. Yep. That makes sense. Okay. Really sweet. Should have put two and two. I, I am the. And it pauses for a second, like it's actually pondering what to say. <laughs> For those of you not from the astral plane, I am the entity controlling the ship. Yes. Do you have a name? No. Oh. Would, would you would you like a name? Why? Well, that just makes it easier for us to communicate. Sure. What would you like to call me? Lucinda. No. That's perfect. What? You were ready with that, Cosmo. That kind of felt it. Honestly, as soon as I heard is... them, I was like, Lucy, but Lucinda is probably the proper name. It's as good to think as any. Actually, I kind of like Lucy. I don't like right? Lucinda, but I like Lucy. Thank you. It's the process. We got to trust it. <laughs> and what does Lucy stand for? Oh. You. Yeah. No, oh, what does Lucy stand the for? The lovely universal craft of craft you. of you exactly right you see some beeps on the console <laughs> like <laughs> like it's literally like dot 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 someone's typing i accept this protocol for this new name Thanks. what is it you would wish to know can you tell us more about where we're going your destination is brawl 
Do you have any information on Brawl? Are you, and it, you feel, you don't feel it, but Lucy is scanning you all to kind of see, try to figure out why you don't know what Brawl is and why you don't understand anything. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so there's a pause and it and Lucy turns into basically like information mode of you're going to Brawl. There are two. Well, there are two versions of Brawl, the upper Brawl and lower Brawl. Which would you like to know about? Which one is considered more dangerous? And Lower where is brawl. our dest- upper brawl? No, I can't, your destination. Oh, oh. Is. Is. Which one? Your Because I can't remember what the captain told us. Like, I can't remember. I don't either. Uh, well, your, the program destination is mm-hmm. lower brawl. Okay. Let's start there then, Lucy. Let's still know about that. One moment. As your actual DM gets your information. No, <laughs> uh, I yep, travel enough. over to Eugenio while the uh, uh, Lucy's uh, going through their uh, database. Sorry, I, Gaza no. moves over to Ken. Uh, Eugenio's here. We're all, yeah, 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 we're all in this I am Lucy. so many times. I don't know if I yeah, actually, you. actually, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I was, I was gonna, uh, I was gonna say, can you? I don't know detect magic or something to figure out where lucy is but she seems to be fairly cooperative at this point so i actually i don't think we need to do this anymore no 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 no. but i, I can if things go south i'll keep an eye out on where the off switch might be i don't know if don't... you turn me off the ship will crash oh god i forgot you're gonna get everything even at the whisper my goodness okay i mean she's lucy she is the ship right you are you yeah, virgil virgil just turns to gosrick and is like what <laughs> Not both of you together. <laughs> so oh as as and then at some point she's like, Would you like this information I have found for you? Please. Yes. The lower part of Brawl is controlled by underbarons, four of them. Ozamata, Meriden Sandyfoot, the juggler, and the unknowable one. Ooh. That is a know. hell of a spread of names. Right? <laughs> Dude, the juggler. Can, I thought the they juggler control was the low city. <laughs> yeah. Are we headed to a particular region controlled by one of them, or is that the entire? Are they controller control the entire region? They control the entire underside of Brawl. Hmm. The upper side of Brawl is controlled by Prince Andrew and his court. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's gonna get me every single time. Every single every time. Every time. I know, mm-hmm. I know it's just the name. <sighs> um, yes. <laughs> hmm. Would you like to know more about Prince Andrew before you arrive on Brawl? No. Oh uh, no. Sure? Um, <laughs> no, uh, no. Uh, have, have have you ever delivered people to this area before? Oh, do you mean me as a ship? Yes, yes, Lucy. I don't usually track people in my hold oh. as you don't have logs. Of, Your trip, not that I'm, you can watch. Did you say hold? hold? Hold. Yes. Well, my I have never had to describe myself to sentient beings. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is that wondering. is fair. I do love that we just befuddle literally everyone and everything we come on. Um, what is the primary? Oh, this question may not make any sense. What is the primary function of the Rock of Brawl? Well, if you are on the upper side of the rock, then it is for ne'er do wells, scallywags, pirates. Sounds fun. Go on, friendly <laughs> folks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The lower side of Brawl is the prison. It is where the not, where the worst of the worst are sent. Wait. <laughs> this place is wild. Yeah. <laughs> There's no in between. No. No, it, is, it is at yeah. 11, both upper and lower. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Upon hearing the word uh, prison, right? The, like mm-hmm. Lucy said prison. Um, basically, yeah, Virgil's. Um, is it possible to change our destination to the upper part of Brawl? 
And why would you do that? Did you hear what you just said? I know what I just said. I yes, am the sorry. Ship's AI. Right, right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is simply that we have no desire to be anywhere near a prison. We have just been, I suppose, released from imprisonment. And it doesn't suit us well. Hmm. I will let any one of you that wants to try to do a check or a, hmm, would it be intelligence or sleight of hand? Because you're trying to do this to a sentient ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. Yeah, no, Virgil's, Virgil's basically trying to convince the, the ship is not trying to mess yeah. with anything. Yeah. <laughs> Virgil's uh, talking. You're trying to verbally convince Lucy. Ooh, it's like a, almost like an intelligence-based persuasion. Like, like a persuasion, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking out loud. I, I know mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, just we're not we're not yet putting our hands in anything. Okay. So we're not then, <laughs> um, whoever would like to try, give me a persuasion check. Such and a heavy Virgil, yet. I will I will give you advantage. I got this. I yeah, hope. you do. Do it. Do it. I'm, you. I'm not even gonna roll. Look at you go uh 19 nice yeah. and is that um with is that with your modifiers yes okay huh? lucy pauses you hear like more little beeps identify yourself so that i may change your destination captain we go what was her name <laughs> Betrayal. Betrayal. Kind of biffed that one. Sorry, y'all. It was close. It was like, Captain Vigo Martin. Vigo Martin. Are you trying to say that you're Captain Betrayal? I think that I get the word Captain out and then manage to think it through enough to hesitate in case anyone has a better option. We I are mean, members can... of the captain's uh uh fleet squad crew 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 that's crew. all I think of. members of the captain's crew what is your crew ID number oh come on six <laughs> <laughs> It's oh, just a numbering system. It's like, well, you got hired six, so you're six. Captain yeah, six. number one. I think it's six. Uh, I'm sorry, that is not enough digits. Please try again. Oh, mother of pearl. I'm, yeah, well, I'm not I'm just going to say the number you. six until she stops me. Mm -hmm. That'll be enough digits. Six. Six. Your num your ID may not be the same number in sequence. Six. Uh, oh no! Not no, no. Your strong password no. requirement. Damn. Oh, and percent. Yeah. Y'all, well, why don't we just go to the Capital lower city Q. and then make our way up? Why don't yes. we just do that? That's fair. No. Um, I do have one question though. Nine. <laughs> just go. <laughs> Exclamation uh, point. Uh, and then suddenly it's like you're it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, oh it's always when you add the exclamation point it works out uh <laughs> i i turn to lucy uh or at least like the center of this gift where the oh display is and ask okay um but so lucy you said the um under the uh, city of brawl the lower part lower mm -hmm. brawl um has four barons who govern over that domain mm -hmm. Our destination is, do you know to whose propriety we are being headed off to? Your initial location for drop-off is the Happy Beholder Tavern. The Happy Beholder Tavern. That sounds like such a quaint place. That sounds cool. <clears throat> Lucy, what information do you have about the Happy Beholder Tavern? It is a tavern where sentient beings gather to drink and eat. And skull yeah. duggery is often the order of business. Okay, okay. Oh, we love a good bit skull of day. Yeah. We there honestly, so we trouble. thrive in skull duggery. <laughs> we can use that to our advantage, maybe. See, uh, I think that's a good place to start. Yes. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. You um, requested a change of destination, however. Is that still what you wish? Seven. Uh, uh, undo. Undo that change. Uh, sorry. Belay that. 
Yeah. Play that over. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we should go to the tower. Can you roll me a d20 and tell me what you get? Oh no. Wait, we need more numbers for me? Come on. <laughs> just roll a d20 and tell me what you get. Yeah. Oh, it's a numbers. seven. It's a, it's a, it's a 17. Nat. Okay. 17. <laughs> All right. Uh, because you have been giving numbers and Lucy has been listening. Oh no, poor Lucy. At some point, you accidentally, entirely accidentally, hit the right combination of numbers. That sounds bad. Actually, this is wow. this is Kent smashing buttons on a panel. This is the <laughs> wow. Listen, he's an archaeologist. What are you going right. to do? That's right. We got to try yeah. stuff. I was reasonably certain that it wasn't going to explode. Absolutely. Just Safe. try shit. But you know, you're at the, the end of the day. There's a scientific method. Uh, does anyone remember what I said? No. Hopefully, we won't need any lab sixes. There were some nines and seven. There's an exclamation point. No, no, we, we we just save it in the password manager. We're good. Oh, perfect, perfect. perfect. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that one drive is in the future. Uh, <laughs> the Astro plane. But now yes. we gotta decide: do we go to the tavern or do we go to? Let's upper, go to the show, tavern. To Actually, Andrew. we've 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 what? So after, sorry, Lucy said like what ID was accepted. Yes, the mm. ID was accepted. So we can change our destination. Yes, okay. you. Yeah. You, your new destination can be set for one of the following areas oh. in the high city. Starhaven, Lake Brawl, Festival Grounds and Area of Frun, Library of the Spheres, the Man of War, Royal Theater Company, or Temple District. Um, oh no. That's oh. so many places that sound just as cool as the Happy Beholder Tavern. What well, is, the, is the Man of War a place we could get our own ship? The Man of War, and I, I'm just, I'm going to struggle not to laugh as I read this. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Uh, I would definitely pick the worst <laughs> one. This one's because, of, because of who is in the cast, I'm yeah. going to try to not laugh. For those feeling fancier for whom fanciness is a way of life, the Man of War, with its view overlooking Lake Brawley, is the finest restaurant in in the city. Nice. The establishment has a strict dress codes, and guests are not permitted to carry weapons. Oh. Shri Halak, a respectful female Hadozi. Manages the Man of War for its mysterious owners who are rumored to be adventurers. I, yeah, I want to go so bad. Okay. Maybe we should go. No, no, no. We should go to. Maybe yeah, later. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the, the library. Lucy, I have a question. What is your inquiry? How easy is it to move from upper ball to lower ball? Well, that's a good question. It is very hard to do. You will need proper identification and papers. Oh. As most people trying to oh. leave or brawl are the worst criminals among the worst in the galaxy. So then maybe we start an upper brawl and go to lower ball. Uh-huh. Hmm. Is that your final destination? <clears throat> one second. I, I, one I second. Know. Do we have paperwork for upper brawl, though? That's I, no, it sounds like we need it to papers. get out of under, but I don't uh -huh. think we need it to go to yeah. upper if we're coming from outside. If we're coming from outside, okay. Yeah, I think it's just that they need to make sure that we're not supposed to be in a cell in under. Right. 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 I think uh, we can acquire identification or at least verify who we are in yeah. upper brawl mm -hmm. more easily mm -hmm. and then be able to move around. And those locations that you listed are in upper or lower? Those are all upper in the okay, good, city. good. Uh, okay. So I just I, worry that we're gonna stick out uh, like a, mm, a sore thumb in the upper. I don't say it. That's listen, always none of none of us time. are from here. We're gonna stick out no matter where we go. Right. <laughs> um yeah. I think Virgil and I had a thought about maybe getting some information at the library. Was that your thought, my dear? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, we are here to be delivered to someone in right. lower brawl. Right. I think it would be better if we didn't go directly to them. Perhaps we make them find us. Mm. <gasps> Lucy, Lucy, can I, um, do you have a copy of our documentation for arrival of our important information that is requested of us to dock at what was the original destination? Do, do you have a manifest or a bill of lading for us? Thank you. Those are the words, Captain. <laughs> Since I do not know what a bill of lading is, I'm going to say no. <laughs> it's like a man. Uh, it's like a manifest. Oh. It's like you got basically what are you conveying in your hold from yeah. A to B? Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I was like, well, who's got the paperwork that it, do we have a copy of the paperwork that passes us over? Yeah, there is a digital copy of everything to be passed on to those expecting you. Okay. There is no digital. physical version of it. There's, okay. there's fingers in it. Digital. I don't. <laughs> Elect- this is either yeah. the funnest or most obnoxious <laughs> thing about Spelljammer. Okay. Wow. I have a question. Must must mean it's written by hand. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Exactly okay. right. Uh, I okay. I, okay. This is this is a terrible, <laughs> terrible idea. Can you bring up the digital copy? As in to view on my view screen. Oh, that's what that means. Yeah. Sure. sure. Um. I'm going to bring it up. All of you give me a language check or an intelligence check to oh. see if you can read it. Okay. Because remember, you all could not read the language that your file is in. Right. Right. Some more time. Intelligence. Straight up. Intelligence. Uh, that's a dirty 20. That's a nat one, dude. That's God. Like, what? This is so just, it's... Ooh, it's an eight from Ken. It's no, no. 21. So what did everyone get? A one plus three, so it's a four, but it's it was a natural one. <laughs> like, yeah. you, you, wow. I think Virgil, Virgil, like Virgil and Shaka Shaka rolled it. high. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, for those of you that rolled high, you can make out some of the information. Basically, you have found that you were supposed to be, and um, my mouse has done a thing. You discovered that you were supposed to be. Delivered to the underside, mm-hmm. to the citadel, and from there you're to be taken to the prisoner barracks. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, as they're sort of figuring this out, this actually probably works well in my original idea. I take out the rest of my disguise self painting set. I was Why like, exactly what that? I was Why about did to we say. Give him that? No, I'm so glad we did. We can <laughs> disguise ourselves. Oh no! no uh, there's, there's I try like, it. There is like to... there is like rattling the bottle left in that by now. Yeah. That's true. There's a little. I only used oh, a little no. bit back in a frost spell, but I take it out um, and I try to write <laughs> in the digital because it's I like I don't know what this oh, is. I rolled a nat God. one on this. <laughs> I try to replace the letter. It's like okay, so this part we just cross out and. <clears throat> This part we just cross out. This part we're supposed to cross. I like my hand. I don't oh, God's right. think God's right. it. I don't think it's. Uh-uh. Why is nothing the same? It's all different. It doesn't make sense. You well, are in the astral plane. New experiences build character. <laughs> I have enough character. Why Maybe can't you. I just be cozy? <laughs> Need a little cozy. Wait, were you yes, wait so, was god striking this out on the screen try yeah because it's trying it, it, it's a virtual <laughs> display the, right? so was like, the view screen like was it a was it a seemingly physical monitor that had this or was it doing yeah. floaty floaty in front oh, of yeah, so now there's no like the the, the manifest monitor. was on a physical oh like, well oh so you're writing on the screen now there's right? you're, the co-worker, <laughs> you're the co-worker who came over with a sharpie on someone's monitor yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's magic yeah. ink though it is magic ink and it disguises itself so i can say be invisible and you, so you see like where you've now crossed out this on this screen yeah lucy like makes it pulse red <laughs> <laughs> why That's are you a good doing try Gazric. why are you defacing my my view screen <laughs> defacing lucy please we are so freaking confused at literally everything that you are he yeah, is, is so he is funny. a being so used to nature this is the farthest thing from anything he's ever experienced oh my god i, I did not deface you that i <laughs> learning what is normal and okay and i'm realizing i, I may have goofed a bit sorry um <laughs> you are an object and a thing and a a thing and uh, Lucy, an object, so. an object. I'm an object. I mean, we're I'm all objects. Object. I'm sorry. I'm, the, I'm sorry. Is the ship that is, is out of character? Is the ship that previously didn't even have a self-identifying as a thing now being offended to us referring to it as a thing? Possibly. I like okay. it. I, I, this is I, good. She, no, we, this is we've good. given her, we've given her life and identity, and now yep. she is feeling She's a way about it. Running Absolutely. with this it. Is good. This is brilliant. Uh, this is no one um, has ever named the skip before. Virgil, yeah, while, <laughs> while while this is happening, Virgil Virgil uh, uses press digitation to remove the uh, to remove the what, it, what ink paint whatever I remember yeah from the from the screen just whoosh. All right, 
She's more affronted at you also just basically smearing paint on her. Well, it's gone now. Oh, that was an odd... What is the word? Sensation? We are... She does have touch screens, so she's like, yeah, I are... <laughs> right, yeah. right. Oh, gosh. Right. Can you just imagine oh, just like, no. like something whole just going right down your shoulder? Yeah. Like... Um, we are unfamiliar with how you as a ship work. So we apologize if that was the incorrect way to make use of your facilities. It was odd. So you wish to arrive in the high city, yes? Yes, yes. it would be if it is, we would like it if the paperwork detailing our conveyance could be altered to change our destination so that when we arrive, there will be less trouble for us and we certainly would not want you want to send you back to the captain with any trouble on brawl. Well, as I am a thing, I don't think I will have trouble. Don't and tempt you, us, Lucy. <laughs> um, you see, like, you actually see the manifest change. Oh. Okay. Oh, I, we just made a friend. Oh. Um, Acquaintance. Let's yes. be real. Yeah. All right. Let's see. How, how long did you say until our destination? It is 10 hours, unless you would like to use, well, as... My technology seems to be far advanced of what you are used to. It is a thing called hyperdrive. No. Oh, no. Um, it will get you there in 30 minutes versus 10 hours. Kirtle looks around at everyone, and I cannot remember if we have actual... None of us have... None of us had to do stuff, so do we... Do we need time to relax before <laughs> arriving, or are we the good to get there faster? No, whatever's wrong with guys, okay. will be fixed in 10 hours or a half. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. You need sure. assistance. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a medical bay, Lucy? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there is Godric rocking himself small... and like trying to paint in the air? Oh, so no. <laughs> so she doesn't have a bay because she has a small ship. Oh, right. no. But you do see you do see a panel open and basically a, a metal slab comes out that Godric could lay on to be examined. Oh, oh. Um, Virgil touches the slab. Is it is it warm or cold? It's warm. Oh, oh nice. it isn't a morgue. It's just, it's a medical. No, slab. I was hoping I was I was wondering, like, for a sensory shock to basically say, yeah, like whatever, just just the um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay at this point um we i think we would prefer to arrive faster uh we also did just wake up like five yeah. six -ish hours ago is 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 there any danger to um inhabitants or cargo with hyperdrive no it is our main method of travel but as you are Beings new to the astral plane, I thought I would offer, or it is on offer to either travel the standard way or through hyperspace. Um, considering all the information that you have given us, I believe that we would like to put it to use as soon as possible. So, um, please use high hyper drive. There they're two normal Hyper words. Hyperdrive. They're, they're two completely normal words. Not, that not together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not together. What do you mean <laughs> some teams? I know some and I know time, yeah. but some team? No. What is this? Uh, please use your, yeah, please use a hyperdrive to, um, to get us to upper brawl faster, please. Take your seats and buckle yourselves in. Oh, their seats. Okay. Yeah, yes. as we go to those, uh, I think it dawns on Kent that like we're not going slowly now, and we are cutting the amount of time this is going to take into like five percent. Yeah, this is the progress bar, and it's like <laughs> Virgil. Remember the first time you got me on a ship. I, all, all I'm saying is maybe be ready with the prestidigitation. I may need some cleanup. Oh, oh no. Does Kent get motion sick? 
No. It probably depends on the intensity of the motion. Yes, and that I mean, there's a whole story there, but like it was, it was a set of scenario, it was a set of circumstances that you know kind of combined to make it an embarrassing One first One voyage. Time. One time, but One time. um, this seems like a lot. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Are you and... all are you all buckled in, or does Lucy need to buckle you all in? Um, I'm buckled in. <laughs> yeah, and um. I mean, it's Virgil, like a car Virgil has, belt, so... Yeah, uh, Virgil is basically um, trying to get Fenris to... And it does, it just doesn't work. So um, instead, he, he's like looped what appears to be a seatbelt kind of through the collar and connected oh. it in and just said, I, I know this is very uncomfortable. Okay. I'm just going to need you to, to, to hold out here for... Hopefully, thirty minutes. I and and Fenris like tilts his head. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Virgil tries to take the seat to the like, like basically clipping Fenris into one, and tries to take the seat opposite so he can basically have a hand on him. Lucy, do you have Aww. peculiar methods of transporting quadrupedal cargo? Not, no offense. I literally, that's the word that came out of my mouth, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> quadrupedal passengers. Most most quadrupeds are a, able to buckle themselves in that I have transported. What is oh boy? Is your companion unable to do so? Yeah, all his feats are feats. There are no opposable digits. Stop! Stop! We went. Okay. From, do you have a method in which to secure quadrupedal creatures to his feats or feats? I love. It. I love. It. Nine charisma. I love it, it so much. It's good. It's good. Um, <laughs> when you say that, you you notice buckles that come out. So basically, you can almost like crisscross them over Fenris's back. Oh, Perfect. Cool. Perfect. This. Thanks, Lucy. This ship has everything. Yes. <laughs> um. You require sustenance once you arrive at your destination. <laughs> yes. 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 Wouldn't hurt. All right. So Lucy like makes a little chirpy noise. There will be food available when you have arrived at the Rock of Brawl before you depart. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, Virgil, how do we how do we make it start? <laughs> We're ready. How do we make it go? Oh, the I burden think... of every Star Trek captain ever. What words do they use? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I also want to know what yours is. I also want to know what your let me in your cabin room is, or word is, but that's for later. <laughs> well, it would be your cabin, too. Yeah. Well, our cabin, but he I'm got sorry, to pick the words. I'm just, I'm I know, about, I, I heard you, it. You know, that's exactly what he said, and I am... We, we uh, all get skirted by it, and you know what? That's for... If yeah, that's fine. That, that's okay. on you. Um, I just don't encourage them. <laughs> Where's Mandy? We need a man. <laughs> but yes, what what are what are our Captain Virgil's words to make this go? Uh, Virgil leans back with just the slightest bit of comfort, but still discomfort because this is still weird. Mm -hmm. And and kind of looks up and all around him, realizing he doesn't have to look at anything because Lucy is the ship and says, um, "Lucy." Yes, Captain. Take us out. On your order. And you all, at first it feels strange. And there's, I'm trying to think of an actual equivalent. Sorry, I got to stay closer for this effect. Wait, I got to stay closer because <laughs> we're going to do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to do the thing, yes. I'm trying to think of something good. So, Virgil, this would be familiar. Like, when you really get speed going on a ship and you start to lean back and feel the pull of, the, of it. Except the pull keeps going. And it's almost like you're in a slingshot. What? And, and then and then you sl sling forward. Whew. And even though it felt like a moment, if you look out of those open shutters, you will see the rock brawl. 
I just want to point out for our podcast listeners that we all got incredibly close to our cameras, pulled back as if we were speeding, and then we boomeranged ourselves forward. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just so that you can imagine what that might have looked like. Nobody hit their belly on their desk. That definitely didn't happen. That- <laughs> <laughs> you're the standing up you're the one with the most freedom of movement but that's oh the dangerous gosh. part the fulcrum is too much and so uh, I, did, I see i see okay uh, also if anyone's curious uh I, I did roll a constitution save for kent and apparently uh a boat on a uh, lake makes him a little queasy but going into hyperdrive for the first time he's fine i'm gonna join All you right. on that constitution save I, I you know this is not fair this is a, the, this is the Okay, d- players and people watching. No, I did not ask them for. No, this. you didn't. No, you didn't. But I wanted to honor the role play. And these think this it, is funny. I got an at one. I got an at one. Oh, let's keep it. Let's keep track of my roles so today. They've been one, two, six. and one. Oh, Gosler, Gosler is definitely not having a good time in astral space right no. now. No, <laughs> the man immune to poison, dice. <laughs> disease, anything. Is just... I, please let me send you dice because clearly Ooh. digital dice are cursed. No. Here. You know, I just have to use the diehard ones. That's the rule. From now on, I'll just use my own diehard. And yes. So, um... Yeah, so Virgil's immediately checking Kent and seeing. Good. I'm good. Okay. okay. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh... And Gosrick. Oh, I'm uh, truly just in the corner vomiting. I <laughs> don't even know if it's the right place to do. I don't know if there's a trash receptacle underneath me i did not care when i went to there but like oh, a primal boy. instinct i went to the corner and said get away from me as i'm going to be sick oh no oh boy um um well if you don't press the digitate lucy will try to click like yeah. uh, Virgil, virgil's waiting for at this point just waiting for gosser to finish yeah yeah okay. <laughs> it's not one you're gonna there's a surprising and i just ate a delicious meal so it's all coming out of me uh mm-hmm. so uh you're you wait around Good to have it twice. 12 minutes um for this to end <laughs> are you dehydrated and nearly dead if for yeah minutes? This is, somebody this needs is to like, cast create water in gosrick at this point like, <laughs> this is like up. the peewee herman death take and buffy the vampire slayer where it's just like it just keeps going yeah. <laughs> wow a, l- a little scary movie and then you can almost see the tube in his mouth <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, uh after... no he turns around wow. and says, for the record i hate the astral plane <laughs> Well, the astral plane feels the same about you, Gus. Oh, Lucy, I like you. I just don't like your home. What have and we I... done to Lucy? She was not fully coherent earlier, and now she's sassing us. It's it's, it's exponentially. This the problem is we, yeah. we introduced too many variables for, for Lucy to process, and exactly. it's just like now, now, um, which of course I, I I cannot wait, but that'll be that'll be later once we once we uh, depart. So yeah, Virgil just again, like we we apologize again. All of this is unused to us, and the 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 the, the sick just magically goes away from the floor, and then again from Gosrick's beard. Thank you. Oh that, God, that, that, that's exceptionally kind of you. Um, <laughs> uh, a, I'm not going to make Profenders roll a con save because the no. extra being strapped down, he's fine. Good. Yeah, but he's a good he, once you're clean, Gosrick comes over and like gives you a little nudge. Oh, buddy. Like, how are you, how are you doing it? How do you spend it? You're you're just you're just totally fine. Look at you, incredible man. He he starts to lean forward like he's gonna lick your face and then thinks better of it. <laughs> it's smart. You can still smell it on my breath. That's smart. Uh, I think for a hot second, maybe I maybe if I wild shape into a direwolf, it'll be easier. I was like, no, I don't. I don't only want I only want to try and wild shape right now before I like. Lucy, do you have hydration of any kind? <laughs> do you mean what most of your sentients call water? Yes. Yes. And then another, like, the tray, the, the, the slab that Gosrick did not jump up on is retracted. And basically, the replicator opens, and there is delicious food for all of you if you'd like to partake before you leave hey. the ship. Excellent. You have about 15 minutes until you actually dock. Uh, okay. Is 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 it more of like our favorite foods or just no. kind of like a mix of? Uh, well, okay, that was a one-time deal. Yeah. Base rations. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a it's skits replicator. Yeah. Like, <laughs> is, there, is there spam in there? 
<laughs> no, hey, spam oh, oh. Subi is delicious. I'll have yeah, yeah, yeah. No, spam uh, Subi is delicious. Yeah, it's just spam. spam is it's space ham. Spam. The, yeah. There's exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say the problem with spam is we can't specify it, but I guess it already is spacified. No, it's you can't specify it. It's but if it's spam, spam, spam it's sham. Damn. <laughs> Much yeah. more. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no. But if it if it is space ham, it goes S P H A M. So it's oh Sam. Sam. <laughs> you know okay. what? Okay. You know okay. what? Uh, so yeah, thank good. you, thank you, Lucy, um, for the meal mm-hmm. and uh, getting us here where we wanted to go. I believe the correct answer is you are welcome. Uh, around the table, quick question: We're stealing Lucy, right? We're like, if we get our like, like this is uh, now, I mean, like this is can't go back, right? Like we're. Gonna... Are you saying this out loud? Are you? Asking no, me? I, I, no, I specifically said. As uh, like to me to the other characters, I didn't say as Gosric. I said uh, like at the table. Oh, yeah, okay. this is a what are we trying? I mean, yeah. I would love to, but I have a feeling she's programmed to go back to the spell jammer, yes. so we might need to do. Yeah, I Virgil has a plan. Or... Yeah, Virgil has a plan that it like we're assuming that we're going to get off and that it's automated to go back. So yeah, yeah that's, that's my assumption. Okay, but how much is a skiff? Like we could re- realistically, that's we can a lot of. Well, I don't know. How we we might not be with us. anything here. Yeah. Well, also, yeah. Um, but that's okay because you know what else brings me joy is the thought of this brand new personality personality to Lucy going back yeah. to that captain. Yes. And the next yeah. time she gets on the skiff, Lucy's like, excuse me, you can call me by my name. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's not skiff. Wow. It's Lucy. Um, Short so, for Lucinda. <laughs> so yeah, actually, um, yeah, Virgil asks Lucy if it's possible to mm-hmm. um dictate a message um to carry back to the captain. To Captain Vidrell. Yes. I yes. And he kind of pauses for a moment. And he was like, Dear Captain, the rivals of Waterdeep appreciate the fantastic means by which you have allowed us to travel to the Rock of Brawl. It has been an interesting time meeting you, filled with delightful conversation, <laughs> fantastic food, and you have made our first experience here our most unique one. Please. Um, as, as we, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, as we are set to, uh, as we are set to embark upon upper brawl, like just emphasizing that, um, we are pleased to return your skiff to you in excellent condition. P.S. Her name is now Lucy. (laughs) I'm just looking over Virgil's shoulder while he uh, or listening because you're speaking, not dic- it's fine. Uh, and I'm just like, I'm so impressed, babe. That is the most perfectly, eloquently, sassiest, spiciest, most passive aggressive message you have ever left anyone. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. I, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, we can get off now. Moment. <laughs> well, you know, you you start to descend. You feel it. It's not as nauseous as the hyperdrive. And as you are very close, you start hearing, Ship, identify yourself. Lucy. This is the Rock of Brawl High City. Uh, Lucy, can you transmit them the, um, the new documentation that we... Uh, had you put together for us? Working on it. Thanks. I'm working on it. Thanks. And you hear some beeps and clicks. And Lucy, her her console's like lighting up. Clearly there's communication happening. You should be cleared for landing. Good luck, rivals. Oh, Lucy, thank you. Mm, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, I like the fact that none of you questioned how she knew you were the rivals. Well, we said, uh, R- Virgil just said the rivals watched. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's also, it's a, and if it's out, I, I got a yeah. question at a little bit. 
Oh, um, well, it was on the. It was also on the documentation on the big ship, like to hunt. Yeah, them. yeah. I. What did we talk about yesterday, Daniel? I keep forgetting details. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Basically, I just assumed that we had Lucy cross out lower and fill in upper. Everything yeah, pretty else much. Is pretty much the same. It's a fine replace. It's a fine replace. All right, you are uh, free to move about the cabin. You have now landed at Brawl. Welcome, Masu. Did you have something? Mm -mm. Oh. Um. So, have we decided where we wanted to head first out of that list? I know we were excited about the restaurant, and then uh, Kent and Virgil you mentioned the library the for yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I was um, excited about listen, I'm not gonna right, lie. When, yeah, um, essentially, what does it look like when we I mean, I don't is it is it very like sh ship like but flying like there's actually like a like does the ship have a spot and we're kind of floating next to a dock? Is there like a gangplank or like uh no, you've landed it, you know, like in small airports where you get off the plane and you're on the tarmac. Okay. Oh, okay. Kind of like Burbank. That. Cool. <laughs> yes, yeah, Burbank. Um <laughs> Fair enough. So that is that is what's like it's you know it's okay. it's you see all manner of creatures that you know not even the things that you've now encountered on the ship. There are elves that look like no elves you've ever seen before. There are more githyanki roaming about. There's just everyone and everything roaming at, at this sea at this spaceport. I almost said seaport. Um, hmm. So. So far, no one has stopped you. No, right. so far, yeah, no one enough. has stopped you. <laughs> um, but you are free to exit, and you can roam about or try to exit the spaceport and go somewhere of the destinations. I will forewarn you, mm -hmm. um, out of character, that the that Starhaven is basically where the prince is. So you probably don't want to start there. Yes. I also keep trying to not call it Starkhaven uh -huh. instead of Starhaven. Um so. yeah. As as they as they leave, Virgil just turns back around to Lucy and, and kind of says good sailing. And her door is just closed and you see you see like people coming over to do maintenance. And to them, Virgil says, yeah, treat her well. And they just kind of give you a weird look like, I love uh, it. okay. She's I special. Love Lucy is special. Did people not name that? Wow, they don't like. <gasps> no, oh just gosh, the. It's so weird. <laughs> the treat her well comment. They're like, uh, she's a ship. Of course, you're going to treat her well. Like, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a thing. Captain say to maintenance and maintenance just looks back and nods and the captain walks off satisfied. Like that's. that's and then the, once that the captain's gone, they can make fun of the captain for saying. Right. It. Then you flip me off behind my back for saying something so ridiculously obvious. That's how it goes. Well, these people also don't know you from a hole in the ground. So they don't care. <laughs> um, all right. Well. Here, here. There's just um, a lot of taking in the sights like this. Yeah. Is, yeah. This is it's new. Big. New. It yeah. is big. It is new. Um Kent. Mm. Roll me a D20. Mm. Oh, I know what this Many is. Many numbers. <laughs> Just roll me a D20. Don't it's a three. No. Oh, Kent. <laughs> Give it to me. So as you all are kind of stunned and, and looking around and like, oh, what is this? Yeah. You notice some, what looks to be, I almost said Imperial Troopers, wrong genre, wrong game. Um, some security coming towards you. Yeah. Coming towards us or coming in our, coincidentally no, in our toward, direction? Towards you and beelining for Kent. For me? For Kent. For you. For you. Oh. Okay. Uh, well... There's no time like the present to establish that we are meant to be here. So uh, Kent is going to turn around to the rest of the rivals and say, if this doesn't work, I am so sorry. And then turn back around and stride up to meet them. Well, oh. no, no, buddy. I immediately like follow behind. Yeah. I grab Gosrick. <laughs> We're attacking Conga no, Line. What? What's next? No. <laughs> Virgil We're follows. getting in a Conga Line. That's what yeah. Yeah. Okay. Virgil follows behind Kent just slightly to his left and about okay. three feet back. 
the bodyguard stance. Yeah, mm. as we're walking though, Kent begins to think, wait a minute, my my man is much more charismatic than I am. Why am I taking okay, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> bodyguard retinue, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what do you say, Kent? Uh you they know they did not expect you to walk right up to them. I'm sure they didn't. And I am not going to say anything. And once we are close enough that a conversation could reasonably be had, uh, I will simply fold my arms and look expectantly at them. And they just kind of look at each other, look at you. Are you Kent of Rivals of Waterdeep? <clears throat> I would like to think that the sum of my personality and self is more than just the rivals, but yes, that would be me. Identity confirmed. And you see one of them, like, tap their helmet. And they put an energy net around you, Kent. Uh, they, like, they... They go to throw an energy net, is what you say, right? No, no, because they, because Kent has walked up to them, yeah, and it's face to face, close enough to talk. Oh no! They've bagged one Kent. <laughs> have they have made a poor choice? Yeah, uh, they have. I'm gonna I'm gonna ghost form and get out of the net, and probably and then look at Virgil before I draw my rapier. <laughs> so you said you're going to try to do ghost form, is that correct? Uh, sure. Uh oh. Um, I'm rolling a d20. You roll a d20. Okay. Okay. Eleven, right down the middle. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, I got a fourteen. Okay. It does not okay. Work. Whatever this net is made of, your ghost form does not work. Oh. What's the I... weather like right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's a calm, perfectly sunny day. No, it's not. It was. Oh no. <laughs> Oh yes. At at that, um, like, is there just like, is it? Were we like one sun, two suns? Is it cloud? Like, what? I have no idea because I haven't I looked up Soul Jammer to see what it looks like either. I <laughs> don't know if Brawl gives you that much info if it has multiple suns. And it, remember, it's in space. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I don't know there, that it even has. It's just an asteroid, right? It is a it is a large large asteroid. Yeah, there is a there is a planet behind it, and Ooh. there are planets nearby. Yeah. But okay, I'm, um, yeah, I'm not that good at space stuff. I like space stuff. I'm not that good at space stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you immediately hear this very loud rumble of thunder, and the wind starts picking up. Is the wind um, howling? Sorry, <clears throat> wind howling. Yeah. <laughs> um, very good nice so, um and yeah just essentially like it's it's now to the point where you know people in the south say like you can you can feel that it's about to hit mm -hmm. that has happened and and virgil has sort of looked at them and just says release him no and they've circled around kent how many are there uh, there are six total. Okay. Oh. They have made a circle, and Kent is in the middle of that. Circle oh, it's like a high school staff. dance. Like I like Aww. all like you know like yeah. yeah. Okay. I step up next to Virgil, and I I was like, yeah, I think I've let you go at this point. I was like, okay. <laughs> say the word, my friend, and uh, you see there's um a little bit of vines that are like creeping around my fingertips, <laughs> almost emerging from them. I mean, I have uh, I have a, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How in or out of character? Big, in character. How big is the circle that they've created around Kent? Um, it's pretty tight. They basically don't want you to have a chance to get in and pull the net off or get him out. Mm -hmm. cool. And they do have weapons. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are are they, they drawn? haven't pulled the weapons yet? But okay. they are. But they are at attention. Like basically, their goal was to get Kent, and you are interfering. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. That's fine um yeah okay yeah cool uh yeah um let's see here i'm uh, just going to do some math oh uh, no that sounds like, like that sounds like we're looking at spells oh mm -hmm. boy and there's like six of them around <laughs> it's really nice of them to like get all lined up and arranged like that it's really cool <laughs> and um <laughs> what are they like giving like a little bit of a little shoulder width or are they just kind of they're kind of close in I'm almost afraid to answer this. Yeah, I would be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, there's, I um, mean, they they're not like shoulder to shoulder because they wouldn't sure. there wouldn't be enough room. But they are they yeah. are basically forming a circle with Kent in the middle. Right. And there's a um, space above Kent, right? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, like like in, in the circle of okay, just in case someone would have cast grasping vine and yank him by the net oh, that's out. Very funny. Yes. While, you know while that someone else you, does something else. Just hypothetically. You know that you yeah. shouldn't telegraph your moves like that. Mm-hmm. We get a little bit more to the table and now scared to the DM uh was the <laughs> the the plan. Yeah. Um yeah, since they I sorry, they just said they said no when Virgil said to release him. Mm-hmm. Okay, no more words. Um Virgil had his arms folded. He puts them down at his sides and you Notice that the wind started and whatever passes for clouds here above them have just started to swirl around. It is almost like a mini supercell is happening. Mm -hmm. And Virgil is casting Storm Sphere immediately around them. One second. Yes. Uh, That is a 20 foot radius sphere of whirling air springs into existence. And each creature in the sphere, when it appears, must succeed on a strength saving throw. Or take two d six bludgeoning damage. The sphere's spell is the sphere's spell. <laughs> the sphere's <laughs> space is difficult terrain. Um, essentially, essentially, there's basically like they are now they are now trapped in a in a whirlwind um, that that Virgil is allowing basically Kent to not be affected by uh, because of sorcery. And if um, so, they take bludgeoning damage. Or sorry, my bad. Uh, strength save it throw DC eighteen for them. It's- okay. And it's a 20 foot oh. radius. Uh huh. Because that's perfect. I can yank Kent out of it. It's 20 feet for oh, yeah. Grasping Vine as well. So we, you can yank well, him let's out. See, and then... Let's see if they make it for I said there are six of them. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Okay. Full time. And, and you, you, you see Dahani kind of like sail up and is about to ask, What did he do? Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. so, I love you. One of them has definitely <laughs> failed. I need to double check the Royal Guards. Um, sure. Mm-hmm. I need to double check the Royal Guards bonuses. Ooh, okay. Half have failed, half have succeeded. Okay. okay. Um, okay. So the half that failed, uh, mm. they take... Um, the half that failed take 11 points of bludgeon damage. Okay. Um, all of them, they basically are now considered difficult terrain, essentially, because they are, they are basically being battered by swirling winds. Mm-hmm. And um oh gosh, this is even worse. Creatures, creatures within 30 feet basically now have disadvantage on perception checks. So yeah. Mm-hmm. If they want to be if they want to be nosy, they can, but they're not gonna get a lot. <laughs> and um okay. and yeah, so that's just that's that. There, there are other things that I can use bonus actions to do, but this is basically yep. release him. Well, the the three that failed are kind of stunned and stumbling around. <laughs> A little bit, and the three that made it have tightened their circle. Well, that's is, is Gosric. Are you yanking? Absolutely. Um, well, I mean, you I, for the record, I, I heard, heard it. Combat. Listen, it's a day. Yeah, it's a day. At it's a day. I mean, are you yanking? At or this point, yanking? I, I think it's fair to say oh. we're in combat, so everyone roll initiative. Yeah, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. Gosh darn it! It's I, a oh two. my goodness! Sorry, I, I got a gracious I got a twenty on my comp on my initiative. Oh, oh, Why man. can I never do this when I'm oh, playing? At least God, I we don't all know. rolled like garbage. all of us rolled like garbage. Yeah, well, except, except for Dahani. Except Dahani. Good, which is yeah. good. Good murder yeah. verb. Go. Um, can you throw your initiative in the? Uh, I'm working on it right now. Oh, you got it. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, you got it all. Yeah, I'm Thanks. working on it. So, Thank if you, three guards that are gosh. not hurt, we'll go get to go first on the net twenty. Oh, I have. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to have advantage on that. Right. On initiative. Yeah. Ah, that's more like it. There oh, beautiful. So yeah. that puts, uh, let me redo that. I always forget. Nice. Oh, you know what? Order, well, order is the same for us, but the numbers may make a difference. Yeah, yeah you, if you're, you're cool with it, I'm happy for you to go before me to honey. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I, I rolled in that. I rolled in that twenty. Also. Oh, you rolled in that twenty. Oh, get it. Oh, okay. okay, so you definitely go first, first, first. So yeah. then, Dahani and the three guards that are not affected by the storm will will act basically at the same time. Oh. Um, so those three that have been now hit with your storm, Kent or Virgil, God damn it, um, have now drawn their weapons and they're pointed all at you. Sure. Okay. My, um, your what? Well, it has a bonus action effect, but I, t- I cast it out of combat and I wasn't really trying to do anything special with it, so never mind. It's Are fine. you sure? Yeah, because this is 
this is a more a more active hurting type of thing and virgil was not trying to do that he was trying to dissuade i got you mm-hmm. and you still I have mean... a chance to do it on subsequent turns right <laughs> well, <laughs> in that case um <laughs> so yes oh. they point them all at you virgil at virgil or kent they point them at virgil because, okay, probably me. Uh, oh, because of the yeah. spell okay yeah, got it, yeah. got it, got it. because of the spell He's coming with us as insurance. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> he's coming with us because he's our friend. What? <laughs> you you change the remand of where to drop you off. You think no one would notice? Fine, but either then. I mean, yeah, but him. that doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's the royal guard. They don't care about that. That's fair. But Kent is laughing and saying, "No, he's not." <laughs> Oh, so you're laughing at the guards. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, I need to look up their space pistols. So, Dahani, do what you're doing while I do a quick search. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Like, oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. (laughs) That's an action. Um, Okay, Dahani isn't going to... She... She's not trying to live up to her name. They're talking about insurance. They could have just said words before they started throwing nets. I need them all to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Was the drama uh, of that that I loved, like the extended, like, let's go. Let's delicious. Go. Yeah. All right, and you said I. it's a wisdom saving throw. What's the DC? Because I'm going to roll for the three. Uh, it's just a 13. But it's a bonus action, and if that doesn't work, then I will take other um, action. Uh, I, all, I forget that we can do that. Dang it. Um, they all made it, I'm sorry to tell you. That's okay. Um, it's like she's like, she she can't be heard over the, the wind, um, and that's fine. Um, so... With her action, yeah, she's just gonna vanish. She's gone. Now. Yes. Okay. Yes, Dahani. And she will do some movement, and I'll tell you where she's moving. Uh, when it's my turn again. Okay. Um, then Kent, it is your turn. Uh, Kent, seeing what Dahani was going for, uh, and also. Hold on, I gotta find it. Mm-hmm. Here I we go. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of math. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, seeing what what Dahani was going for, uh, Kent is also going to uh, give it a go, and the laughter, Kent's laughter, just sort of takes on this growly, roary kind of sound, uh, and a little bit of like frost begins to form around him. Uh, And I'll need another set of wisdom saving throws, except this time it's DC 17. Ooh, what is Kent doing? Using the frightful presence that the Great Worm Echoes gifted us uh, to try and frighten these. I used all of my mojo on that other set of rolls. They all failed. (laughs) That's why you don't mess with us. While while as that's happening, uh, Kent sort of turns uh, to look uh, in, well, to look at Dahani and then realizes she's not there and hopes that she is in the vicinity and winks at the open space where Dahani was uh, as sort of a, hey, thanks, that was a good idea that I wouldn't have thought of. (laughs) (laughs) all right and what does that do to them since it it gives them them the frightened condition for one minute they can repeat the say the wisdom saving throw at the end of each of their turns okay um frightened gives them disadvantage on all attack rolls and ability checks while i'm within line of sight and they can't willingly move closer to me oh okay then Um, all right um, anything else from you, Kent? Yeah, well, that was my bonus action. Can I, am I restrained or just grappled by this net? Uh, you're, it's basically, it's heavy enough to kind of grapple you, but you can try to get out of it. Oh, then let's just and, do that. Yeah, I'll try and get out of it. I'll make a, if it's grapple, I'll make an acrobatics. Sure. Great. And as a rogue, you'll probably be like, haha, your puny net. It's a 31. Oh, was that? <laughs> you literally 
Listen, I told them I wasn't going with up. them. <laughs> Please no. It's only and a third. we were telling them we're not going. <laughs> Go <with. laughs> What's great is that you tried to you. literally yeah, like no. ghost through it. Didn't happen. You're like, I can just get out of it. <laughs> like, just a 31. That's the like, title of this episode. <laughs> Listen, ghosting, I only rolled a 14 is, on the die. Yeah. Ghosting is almost too much effort. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I, I yeah. think about it for a minute and I'm like, oh, that was silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you are free of the net. They can't move to any closer to you if you decide to get out of the range. Oh, no, I think this is very funny. Uh, the laughter is continuing, but now it's a little more genuine. Uh, and I'm just going to stay here for now. Cool. Oh, OK, then. Just, uh, you know, the, the net. Actually, the net didn't hurt me in any way, did it? Yeah. Can I pick it up? Sure. Great. I'm going to pick it up and just sort of spin it. Okay, please, if you can draw someone, please draw this. Um, Shaka. Um, dun, dun, dun. um, so the one that um is speaking, well, or the 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 one that said like Kent is coming with us. Shaka is going to assume that that is the leader of some sort. Um, yes. So Shaka is going to uh cast. What was it? Um. Yeah, uh, finger of death on this. Uh, oh my god! Shaka. Uh, no, yes, Shaka. Not the so... entire name. The entire wow. full name. So con save of eighteen. Okay. <laughs> they're terrified. For the record, they're terrified right now. Good. <laughs> Listen. I, you know, I'm just gonna. I'm rolling this d20. <laughs> Every yep. day, you is learn. A day to learn a lesson. That's and right. today, you this is the one just... they got to learn. They're learning it. Wow, y'all murdered somebody on a ship. Now you murdering people as soon as you get to brawl. We they need to back. stop trying to take us captive. Yeah. <laughs> and what you at know? a time, too, is, is yeah. the worst way to do it. <laughs> well, I will explain this in the post show what my plan yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was an utter fail because you said it was what, an 18 that I needed? Yeah. 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 Nope, 18 did not make coming. that at all. Oh okay. Here we go. Uh, so... 78 plus 30? Yeah, so I'm sorry, how much damage did you do? No, 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 not 78. 78. 78. 78. That's still oh, a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So that is yeah, it's a lot. Uh so that's 54 uh dam necrotic damage. Um and if if that kills him, then that does something else. If it doesn't, then you just Oh, that kills him. Oh good. Oh, good. Okay, good. You're then, gonna uh, you're gonna make a spirit charm, aren't you? Then no, the, I'm not. I, this is this is all Shaka. Yeah. So the start oh, of no. my next turn, uh, this person becomes a zombie under my permanent command. There nice. we go. Nice. So Shaka, what happened to you, Navernus? Do you need help? <laughs> right. I am so proud of you, Shaka. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love this version. Always of eleven. I did always enough. eleven. Yeah. Cracking <laughs> jokes and murdering folks. That's yeah, Shaka's I mean, energy. I mean, <laughs> that's, wow. yeah. You know, no, no, you're right. He's definitely changed. Yeah. Um, but wow. uh, I, th I, like I think it. some. I think something about these guards, like just going, you know, throw with the net and just mm -hmm. they they just appear to be like really od and like shaka does i think when he casts this is kind of like impulsively yeah like, uh, like he a like um yeah. so, so you kind of does impulsively it. is what you're telling me i think i think he did i think he kind of you all cannot say anything about salise ever again. <laughs> no I, I i think in the same way that you know against the captain he cast those four eldritch blasts wow. on the ship yeah. I, mean, I, I, I I think he's kind of going through it where he's kind of like, as he's leveling up, he's sort of, I mean, this could be post-show stuff too. I was going to say, I really want to talk more about this in the yeah, post-show because yeah, I have yeah, thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, All right. I'll actually save it for... for, yeah. for, for, for okay, for, so yeah. like, you've now you killed this person and what? resurrected them as a zombie. Good going. On, their, uh, on the start of their next well, turn. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> that uh, show isn't for another six seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Virgil. Uh, so who's left? Uh, there's still five left, just three of them were immediately kind of knocked around by your storm. Okay. There's um, two that are upright, but remember, they've got disadvantage on everything. Uh, let's see here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, not saving throws, so, yeah. so spell DCs are still what they are, but... <laughs> um, 
I wow. And and so Virgil's now seen this, seen what appears to be the leader of them fall. Yeah. Um and uh does not doesn't drop the sphere. Um and says and, and says first. Did any of you want to reconsider? And even though like the wind is howling around them, if they are in the sphere, they basically just hear that like it's on a loudspeaker in the yeah. sphere. Well, remember, Kent is now free. The rest of them are kind of just in place. And mm -hmm. one of them is having deep regrets in this moment. That's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Um, um you know, basically, and, I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was, was, well. was going to and, and yeah, after that, uh, Virgil says, um, Virgil says and waits, uh, drop your weapons. Do any of them. They back away, but they don't drop their weapon because they don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> But mm -hmm. basically, Kent is now free and free to move about, and is not surrounded by by royal guards. Yeah, so they're free to move about the dock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, you're free to move around the dock. Please do not draw your weapon, or you just die. <laughs> oh, it's too late for that. I was going to say it's a, bit, it's a bit late for that. Um, my hands are my weapons. Oh, gee, see, this is mm, <laughs> what everything Virgil can do is really a lot. <laughs> You're level 19. Of course, it's a lot. I love it. I know. I love I know. It. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> so, oh gosh, how many are left? Five. I mean, all six of them. No, because Shaka killed one, so there are five <laughs> right. left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Dang it! I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill people today, but we have already killed two people today. Uh, you sounded like you were ready to kill people when you said "let him go." So. That is that is a very yes, that is a very real thing. Um <laughs> so so yeah, at this point, um yeah, I was just like, okay, no, 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 no. Um so yeah, while they are basically all um they are probably they are now frightened of Kent. Mm -hmm. They are they are sort of maybe in the formation, but still in still in my storm sphere, mm -hmm. and now they've seen somebody go down. Um Virgil calmly and coldly. Um, pulls out the fan and is like kind of enjoying the breeze, the off breeze from the storm sphere a little bit. Yeah. And uh, then flicks it at them to cast chain lightning at the remainings. Yeah. Oh my God. Is there yes. a space for that or just. It is a, for this, it's a, uh, from the fan, it's going to be, wait, how? Oh God. I from the fan. Okay. Yeah. It's a deck I save of 16. Fan. I should know this. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a deck save 16. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. So one got a nat 20, Great. one got a 19, uh -huh. and one of them got a one. Whoop. Okay, so that's oh no, uh, that's only that's only three of them. I have to roll okay. two more times. Right, right. Uh, but two um, so far have made it and they got a nat 20, so they really made it. A 19 okay. on the other one. All right. Uh so three of the five failed. Okay. Okay. Um, so it is all on a fail and half on a save. Roll right, that damage. So what is that damage? Roll that damage. Fifty-six yeah. individually, or did, did, did like? That's my thing to say, Masood. That's my. Thing <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, it. sorry. It was for the podcast. Wow. I get to say it. It's my. Uh, life. Sorry, okay. we're all a little bit in shock right now. And the damage Literally. also applies to Gosrick as well. As we said it. <laughs> <laughs> it changes back. Gosrick hasn't had to go yet. So yeah, I am. Be real interesting. I don't even know that. <laughs> so, so yeah, basically, supply, like supplied almost with extra energy from the storm that he called into the existence. Like lightning just arcs out from the sphere, hmm. dances across the fan. And um, lightning arcs through the rest of them, and yeah, the ones that the ones that failed to save take fifty six points of lightning damage, and the ones that succeeded take twenty eight. So the two that made it, you know, like in in games where people get hit with lightning, they start arcing and and tweaking and 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 jerking on the ground. You get an mm. X ray of their bones for a hot second. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it's it. Like, <laughs> it's like bluffing hit them from Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they're just on the ground. And the three that didn't make it, they spasm violently. Their guns drop. And they just slowly crumple to the ground. They're unconscious. They're very close to dead, but they're not dead. Nice. 
Nice. But there, none of them are a threat at this point. Mm -hmm. But you have drawn attention to yourselves. Well, sure, <laughs> it's fair. Mm -hmm. Um, and so uh, after that, yeah. So so the three that failed are on the ground. The two that succeeded are not doing great. They're not doing great now. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I I do have I have a bonus action from the storm sphere, but that's a lot. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> are you sure? Well, look, and like I almost like I'm not actively trying to kill anyone, even though they dared touch Kent. Not actively trying to kill anyone. Anyone mm -hmm. else? Okay, yeah, anyone else? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> um, um. So, so yeah, at that, let's see here. Um, we have a familiar. Sorry, I. Um. Oh golly. <laughs> what did you um, find? I, no, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing anything right. in particular. But I, <laughs> um, yes, I am. I am simply, um, and I, I do look. I do look back to uh, to Fenris, who probably stayed back with the group at this point, and I was just like, you know, there's just a look of old, like not yet, but stay ready. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with it, with Sleece not there, he is listening to you and Kent. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Gosric. And your sudden space cat familiar. Oh, well, I summoned beast. Okay, I'll put you down. <laughs> uh, yes. No, uh, not beast. No, she wanted to go down. And the moment I gesticulated with her in my arms, it's like, you don't feel safe anymore. But I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, uh, well, I was going to cast Grasping Vine. I think I just shouted to Kent. I was like, you good? Uh, yeah, that, I, that was going to be so fun. But yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh, what uh, were you we gonna do, Kent? Do we want a boogie then? We gotta wait three more seconds for this one to stand up so he can come with us. <laughs> okay. Um, and then <laughs> wait, in the for meantime, to stand up. or the one that's the shocking you. Yeah, the zombie. Uh, well, uh, he'll, he'll oh, provide. God. Uh, um, I'm just imagining you walking around with this zombie royal guard now. Mm -hmm. exactly. Well, we just make sure that. You know, we oh. put a little face covering helmet on him so nobody's immediately aware that he's dead. And this could be very good for us. I still have that uh, disguise self painting kit. We can Look make at you go. Look oh, at oh, you mean we could actually use it to disguise the and just a, yeah. yeah, just a little bit of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, the boy. not a zombie. Um, I, okay. So what I do in this moment, my spell, um, I cast, uh, use my action to cast Wrath of Nature. Um, you call out the spirits of nature, don't worry, to rouse them against your enemies. Choose a point you see within range. The spirits can cause trees, rocks, or grasses in the 60 foot cube center point to become animated until the spell ends. I'm choosing roots and vines. At the end of each of your turns, one creature of your choice on the ground in the cube. Uh, 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 at the end of your turns, one creature of your choice that is on the ground in the yes. cube must succeed on a strength saving throw or become restrained until the end, until the spell ends. A restrained creature can use action to make a strength athletics check against your spell save. DC ending that effect on itself, uh, ending the effect on itself on a success. So basically, um, there's two of them left, right? Yeah, that are not totally incapacitated. Yes. Yes. Um, I choose one of them, and they have to make a strength saving throw against my spell save, which is. Uh, but Gazric, you know that you're in space. Where are these vines? Where are these roots and vines coming from? Underneath the ground. Are there, uh, I'm the the components You're verbal the and somatic. Part. So I actually they're coming from me. Um, okay. Because it's uh oh, cool. I, because of what this is and the, the style of it. It's just like I said before, we saw the vine sort of like growing at my fingertips a little bit, and what you mm. actually see is my knuckle hairs extend and start feeding oh. into the ground, and they pop up as no. earth uh, no. and vine. You asked. Bored until you asked. Knuckle hair. <laughs> it was just I, and they're you real just long. Said, you know, so we we stop this. They're coming. We did, you know what? Me. You're right. <laughs> we did. We did stop this. They're coming for me. All right, I'm gonna do this saving throw. What is it? I need to be. I love it. Uh, you need to beat a 19 on um wait i still have disadvantage athletic. on that don't i, I uh, think not so. saving throws not saving okay. not saving throws I, well, right. actually, it's I... an athletics check it's an athletics oh check. that you do have disadvantage on then all right but you get an athletics bonus wow it's a set no it's <laughs> it's a seven i failed okay oh, no. well so this dude uh, one of them just 
gets like strapped down to the ground um and looking at the corpses of his friends around him at now high level um and i so turn morbid. uh yeah yeah i know mm-hmm. sorry i turn to the last one and i'm not actually that sorry but i turn to la- I turn to the last one and says okay um this is you that's the you guys this is i mean there's one of you now so and there's like five of us I'll let you decide how we feeling buddies but i just like kind of turn around and look back at the group how are you feeling <laughs> not there yeah, yeah, yeah i think i think what is clear to me at this moment is that the rivals have been suppressing a lot over the last few days and this was just a step too far and you know everyone has their breaking point that's and apparently all of ours is exactly the same the rival shot therapy is what you're hearing yeah Yeah, pretty much jock is definitely very shaken up very shaken up um so yeah if the if okay so basically the one who is remaining is unrestrained but but not doing great no okay um have, have they basically are they did they did they look like they're regretting Choices or well, most of them are unconscious. So the, so... Yeah, the one that's still yeah, the one that's still basically uh, got half damage from the lightning and is still in the middle of my storm sphere. Which oh, probably yeah. I was gonna say when is it? When was it their turn? <laughs> it would have been the top of the turn, but you kind of decimated all of them. Yeah, they would have gone next. This um, lasted a whole one round basically. Yeah, uh-huh. this, um, we literally get off the ship. Can't gets netted. It's six seconds of. <laughs> I actually love that idea so in my funny. head that this didn't even have time to like this barely had time to register between two people having a conversation like a hundred feet away. Just like <laughs> they're kind of like, what? Oh. The hell? What? What? Oh, oh, we should leave. Um, um, so, while you all are, oh, go ahead. Yeah, no. So if they're if if basically like essentially once once if if they're going to do something then mm-hmm. if they end their turn they're gonna have to do another saving throw or take more bludgeoning damage but yeah at this point we're just hoping that maybe they'll reconsider uh taking action oh no they regret getting out of bed that day it, they're just laying mood. there yeah. they're just kind of like they're just kind of like i knew i shouldn't have taken this job go tell no, your bosses that mm-hmm. they're, no that's what they're thinking they're just yeah, kind fair of enough. like they're just kind of laying there like please leave me alone I just wanted, to, I was just following orders. And oh. as you all are, are pondering this mass, this group of now smoking and almost charred <laughs> royal guards, you hear two familiar voices behind you. Oh boy. Oh no. Familiar no, they're good voices. voices. Oh, okay. no, I don't, like right I know, now, familiar to us based on the day that we've had. <laughs> yeah. Is probably not good. Like, exactly. <laughs> like I mean, whoever they are, I'm afraid. Yeah. Don't be afraid. And and actually, it's Celise and Faye. No. no now I'm even more, I, I'm more afraid. Oh. Why? Immediately, why I'm like, oh, if, if, no, we're what? never going to be able to say anything to Celise. <laughs> exactly. <and they> literally <laughs> <witnessed>. <laughs> it's not true fear. It's yeah. regret because yeah. we can't be left alone for five goddamn minutes. <laughs> it's been like a day and a half since we saw once, them, and we've already like once yeah. again they started it. Always, That's right, always, always. And they you know what? Tahani's well. not even here. She's not a part of this right now. She's and there. And just like she... you know what? I'm a vanish. The <laughs> just walks up. Who started what? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I saw oh, that. Was, yeah, that, that wasn't out loud. Yeah, that was that was. Oh, like, okay. Because we basically oh, okay, everyone yeah, we right. had to kill ended up because they started it against us. So okay, I thought, so I, thought, I thought you said it out loud. Oh no, no, no. So Lisa hasn't said uh, anything. Yeah, like. Well, she that that was her saying something. I thought you said it out loud. Oh. Um. So she walks up. Why? 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 I finally find where you got taken. I show up. There's smoking corpses. You haven't. There is a. You said we were going to have breakfast. They had to call in favors. Let's just go before anyone else comes for you. And she leads you toward um, 
sort away from the spaceport, and that's where we're going to end it. Oh, oh, okay. What? <laughs> no, there were definitely things that that would no, would you know what needed to happen. We can rewind because... that. What were you going to say? Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, she said to us, "You said we were going to get breakfast." Yeah, that was the plan. To the get last breakfast. thing we said was we were going to get breakfast the next day oh, before we got kidnapped. Right. Like on episode one. Okay, in that case, said, yeah, 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 this yeah. is way at the uh, end. In that case, no. And then and, because... uh, I'm, I'm just I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say if we're going back to do stuff, I do cast Pass Without a Trace on us as we run away. Oh, that's very that's good. Just, very good. <laughs> just so we start next episode with that with knowledge a little, With a little help. <laughs> yeah. I do also want to say that Dahani intended to stabilize the three unconscious ones. Oh and yeah, I do. Rolled like, medicine yeah. checks to do that. Okay. Nice. All right. Success, what were your medicine checks? They were okay. a twelve, a twenty-five, and a twenty-two. You only okay. need a ten. So yeah. they're smoking, but they're alive. <laughs> we need somebody to tell our, you know, to tell the story right. of what happened right. here. There's in two of them. In in so a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Are you <laughs> taking your zombie with you? You damn right. <laughs> our concern. Our, that's a closing line. <laughs> Our, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Our robbed zombie? No! If it wouldn't mess up the overlay, I'd say kick him off the call. <laughs> I can just leave. All right, and with that, we're done. We're going to do outros. If you have questions, you know the you know the drill of you question. Uh, I believe the command is rival's question. Uh, whatever we don't get to here, we'll talk about either on Twitter or the after show. And uh, since we kind of popcorned in today, we're going to popcorn out. And I'm going to make Eugenio start. Yeah! Hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands on the interwebs. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch at DM Jazzy Hands. Tomorrow is the penultimate episode of Idol Champions Presents Hunger of the Far Realm, uh, which Brian and I are both on. Uh, it has been such a delightful four episodes so far. We got two left. We've made it to, let's see, how much can I say without spoiling too much? This we find out in the first episode. So I said, we've made it to the corpse of Tiamat, and there are a lot of teeth. How's that? Uh, so come hang out with us uh, on tomorrow night. That uh, starts at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on twitch.tv slash CNE Games. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday, uh, I've been streaming on my channel. I've been streaming Alan Wake. Uh, we spend most of the game uh, shining flashlights on people and making fun of how bad a writer Alan Wake is. So come hang out for that. Uh, that's Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wednesday is episode 7 of Into the Motherlands, uh, also at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Uh, uh, the crew are wandering through uh, star skitter infested labyrinthine moments, uh, and it's awesome. Uh, so come that, uh, come check out that on Wednesday, and then that's it. Then uh, rivals uh, next Sunday. I think that's all from me. To am I popcorning? Uh, you know what, yes. Sharif. <laughs> hey, um, so uh, I'm Sharif. Uh, you can find me at sharifjackson.com. S H A R eef jackson.com and sharif jackson on all social networks um don't have anything else going on right now in terms of streaming or gaming and stuff um but uh i may be on some stuff soon um of course the pax U stuff and uh you know that uh are a live show there i'll be on that and um but yeah that's about it in terms of outside of of this show um so with that i'll pass it to latia thanks hi uh my name is latia you can find me everywhere at latia jakees um and my website latia jakees.com i have news this week it's going to be interesting news uh and you'll just have to be on twitter to find out what it is all right I'm popcorning too oh right uh i'm gonna pass it down Hey, that means it's me. Hi, I'm Masood. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marudeboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, I'm doing this with these wonderful folks on Sundays, like you can see, playing Rivals of Waterdeep. I'm currently not in anything else right now, but if you're looking for me and you want to add some folks on your campaign, shoot me a message. We can figure something out. Uh, things I got coming up is going to be with these wonderful folks at PAX Unplugged. We're very excited about that. It's going to be a blast. If you're there and you're there early, um, I'm going to let Brian talk a little bit more about it, but on the Friday of PAX Unplugged, we're doing we're part of a panel talking about one-shots. Uh, and with that, I think that's a perfect segue to Popcorn to our last uh non-gm member brian 
Oh, yeah. Hi. I completely forgot to actually remember everything about the PAX panels that I'm on, but that's okay. Hi, I am Brian, aka Urban Bohemian, just like it says down there. You can catch me on Twitter uh, at Urban Bohemian and Twitch. Uh, aside from being here with these awesome folks on Sunday, um, tomorrow, again, as Eugenio said, is Idol Champions Presents Hunger of the Far Realm, our next to last episode, the Penny Epi, as I know he likes to say. Um, Thursday, uh, sorry, Tuesday is my own stream. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Thursday is going to be the final episode of God Plane. That's over on twitch.tv slash kdampere. It's a D&D 5e horror campaign, which is going to be an interesting ending. We're expecting a lot of lore dumps and probably tears. Uh, also on Thursdays, uh, Cyberpunk Independence uh, is a podcast I'm on that is a cyberpunk red um, kind of learning and playing podcast. Uh, those episodes drop on Thursday. Um, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it, except for my own streams on Saturday and Sunday, and then back here with the rivals. And yes, in three weeks, you will see us at PAX Unplugged. I am going to be on a panel with Masood about making memorable one shots. I'm going to be on a panel with some awesome folks about um, how to take people's money, a uh, charity stream. Oh, dude, I completely <laughs> forgot about one more thing, which I will roll right back into. Um, I'm on a panel at PAX about how to take people's money, aka doing charity streams. Uh, we're going to have a uh, Into the Motherlands live show. We're going to have a Rivals of Waterdeep live show. And um, some members, um, so basically cast members from uh, the Cyberpunk Independence podcast who live in Philadelphia, we're going to have like a mini meetup. There's been talk of cosplay, but I don't know how to cosplay Cyberpunk yet, so we'll figure that out. And also, next Saturday, uh, November 19th, I'm going to be over on DC Lacerre's channel for Pastry Panic, which is Ooh. the next installment in the uh, Baker's Guild food-themed one-shots that we've been doing for charity on his channel. Uh, they're a lot of fun. That's going to be... Me, Tanya, Painting Pirate, Zer Jester, and Awkwardish Panda, and DC Lacerre as, as our DM. I think I got that right. I think I got everything then. Um, uh, yeah, I think, and that's uh, over to you, Tanya. Sorry. Hi, I've been uh, up to you, Tanya. <laughs> oh, hello, Brian. I don't know why I did that. Um, hi, I've been your DM for this shenaniganry. Also, of note, this is our final episode of being an official Watsy show as of whenever we pull the plug on today's episode and be done. Uh, that's it, folks. We are now free agents. So if any of you have money burning a hole in your pocket and would like to uh, donate to keep the rivals swear going. swear so much. Oh, we're going to swear so fucking much. <laughs> <laughs> it, the out. it has begun. It has, it has begun. Um, it has so, begun. No. It has begun. Hopefully if Matt's watching, he won't murder me later. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I am, as you can see, I'm not home. I will be back home on Tuesday in the evening. I may get in a stream of some Ragnarok while I'm here in New York hanging out with folks. Otherwise, I'll be back for Motherlands on Wednesday on my channel with Eugenio in the storyteller seat. And then I will join shenanigans for charity with Brian and Painting Pirate and Banda and DC. And I feel like I'm forgetting someone, but yes, charity. And I am willingly subjecting myself to the punnery that will happen for a good cause. Please pray for me and donate. Um, I think that's it. Um, other than obviously PAX Unplugged, if you're going to the Game Awards in LA, I will be at the Game Awards as part of the feature class. Mm -hmm. So if you're there in LA, I will be there briefly, and then I'm going to come home and talk to no one for three weeks. So um, I think that's it. We did have a couple questions. We'll try to get through them quickly. I know we got one for Lucy. I'm going to have to scroll back. Uh, I've got it. Um, they're actually, it's interesting. We had two for Lucy, and they're sort of related. Uh, so we'll so we'll go with uh, Lucy. Has your experience with the rivals changed your feelings towards your captain and crew? Inconclusive. That was a short interaction with the rivals. However, they have given me what I believe you sentients call agency and a name. It's a and start. It is a start. We have another one for Lucy, but mm -hmm. oh, whoops. Well, we actually will go to that one uh, because Sharif has had to pop off for just a moment. Um, again, for Lucy. What were your first impressions of, this says each rival, but I will say, what were your first impressions of the rivals so you can choose as many as you like? Um, first impressions are, you are very talkative. You're, this does not compute with the file I was given on you. I wonder what they will do when they arrive in Brawl. Also, the one that wields storms seems very angry on the below the surface. 
Yeah. Um, okay, we, as I said, we have one more question. However, things happen and Sharif has had to step away for a moment. So that's all that we have. Uh, Tanya, do we have a raid target? We do. Angry Black Lady um, on Twitter and Twitch and everywhere else is playing The Division, Ooh. one of our favorite games. So she is uh, joined in and is roaming about to do that after uh, seeing some of us play it again on stream. So let's see what she's doing in virtual DC. We're going to call it uh, a stream and then see you next week. Everyone should be back home and where they belong. And we're going to go take a break, do our post show. So if you're $10 and a patron, you can see that. And uh, we'll see you next week for episode six and more shenaniganry. Bye, y'all. See you. Bye. Go to the Indiegogo. Go to the Indiegogo. Bye. Go, 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 rivals. Yes, Indiegogo. Go, go, go.